Hi everyone, I recently created this little lamb sketch on A4 paper using the alcohol-based markers by Spectrum Noir. And this one took me around about 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to put this sketch away and then I'm going to have a go at creating another 10 minute sketch of the same lamb, but on a larger scale. And then it's a really good way of seeing how the eye and the brain pick out different aspects of the same image. And so let's see how that goes. So using alcohol based marker pens, I'm starting with a light blue to put down the initial lines describing the head of a lamb grazing on some delicious Devon grass. Well, I, I'm assuming it's delicious, not something I've tried myself. Uh, but uh, this animal was out on a sunny day, so illuminated with quite bright light, so strong cast shadows. And as you can see, I'm just putting down some some indication of the outline. And I'm using the large uh, nib on the end of this marker. I'm just using the very corner, the very tip there. So even though it's a relatively large nib, by holding the pen at the right angle, you can still get a very fine line. And of course, in a fraction of a second, you can change the angle of the pen and put down a much thicker mark. And depending on how this drawing goes, we may end up doing that in just a, a little while. So there's the front leg. And the arrangement of these uh, other two of the other legs are, is a little bit odd, actually. It's uh, this one's here. Uh, I think that's the rear left leg that he's obviously holding his legs uh, out quite wide because the other front leg is about here. And then there's only a, a little bit of the belly showing. So the four, the four legs are grouped together in quite tight formation. And there's, then there's a little bit of a hint of a tail there as well. OK, so we've got um, some lines down. We've shown where the, the animal is fairly clearly. So I'm going to carry on using this blue, but using the, the flat of the nib now. And I'm going to use the blue to start to put in some shadows and tone. And I don't know, I, I may end up making this particular drawing almost monochrome, but, but we'll see. We, we may add some colour later. Just going back to the very edge to put in the eye. It's tricky. It's such a temptation to get involved in the detail sometimes. And you want to avoid that, especially in the early stages, if you can. And it's usually best to develop the whole drawing at the same rate. It allows you to better judge what's left to do and what needs to be done in order to bring the picture to completion. All right, I think I'm going to add some grey to the, to the uh, drawing next. Whoops, sorry, hit the tripod then. So let's change pens. And I'm using an IG3 grey. And let's begin putting that down in some of the darker regions. 
and I, I did that because had I inadvertently chosen the wrong shade of grey and found that it was too dark, then if I'd applied it to a region which shouldn't be as, as dark as, as the pen was doing, then uh, it would be too late. Whereas by applying it to a dark shadow region initially, if I picked too dark a pen, it wouldn't be too late to save the drawing. Now the, this ear is um, casting a shadow across the sheep's forehead. And then there's also a cast shadow from the head on that other ear as well. Put in some blades of grass just to make sure we know that the, the lamb's eating something. And I think we can afford to do a bit more detail on this eye now. Perhaps let's grab the yellow, just a light yellow, to give the fleece a bit of warmth and a bit of colour, because at the moment we've used really quite cold colours and we haven't conveyed the idea that this animal is bathed in light and, and quite bright light as well. So I think now I'm going to leave the animal pretty much alone for the next minute or so and I've actually switched to a pen which is labelled DG1 which I thought was going to be a yellowy green but it's coming out with a yellow not all that different to the one I've used on the lamb but I'm going to use this to block in some of the background not so much the sky but for, for the grass and That's working okay, but let's change to a different green. So this green is labelled on the pen LG1. And that's giving me more what I would expect when I pick up a green marker. But you can see where this pen is going over the blue that I've already put down. I'm getting this lovely mixing of colours. So let's explore the effects we can get by blocking this green in a bit further. But I really feel I need a darker colour to bring this lamb to life. So now I'm using BT3. I don't actually know what that is, but uh, it looks green on the nib. So, yep, yeah, that's much more of a, a grass green. So what I'm finding with these uh, alcohol-based markers is they are really cool, but you have to choose the application or the way you're using them fairly carefully because they're fantastic for building up subtle layers if you've got some time. 
but what I'm finding is they're not quite so great for blocking in big areas. It, take, it takes too long. So if I was going to block in a big area in the future, I'd probably use, and I wanted to use a marker, I'd probably use an acrylic paint marker, I think. But these, these alcohol markers, I mean, they, they will be brilliant, I think, come the spring when the weather's a bit warmer. If I've got my small sketchbook with me, I should be able to work up very quickly uh, a sketch of the landscape and attain a lot of effects that I wouldn't normally be able to make quickly using marker pens. So I'm looking forward to doing that. So our 10 minutes is pretty much up, but I'm just going to add some uh, outlines using an HB3. And I think this is going to give me a purpley colour, but we'll see. Yes, it, it is. So by doing that, I should be able to just make this little lamb stand out from the background a bit more than it currently is. Now I'm being fairly, fairly sparing with how much of this purple I add. I like the blue outline I've used, but I think, I personally feel that just adding that little bit of purple here and there has, has given the image a little bit more pop, a little bit more contrast. And uh, let's just put a couple of little marks there. And I think we'll call that one done. A quick signature, perhaps. And there we go. Another 10 minute sketch using the alcohol based marker pens by Spectrum Noir. Um, first time I've used these in, in the last few days, really. So let's take another look at the little sketch, the prelim sketch that I did on the smaller paper for this same lamb. I can just find that. OK, so here's the preliminary sketch. Again, this was just done on A4 paper, so much smaller, same amount of time. And you can see I've pretty much just used grey, yellow, a very dark blue. I did use a bit of pink around the eye and the nose and the ear. If we go back to my larger drawing now, rather a different colour palette, but a much softer feel. In, in, the, you know, in effect, I feel this captures the character of this little animal much better than I did on my preliminary sketch. But maybe let me know in the comments below which one you prefer. And if, if you like one more than the other, perhaps give me some indication as to why you like the larger drawing or why you like the smaller drawing. Anyway, there we go. Another 10 minute drawing of a lamb. Hope you enjoyed this one. Any questions at all, please feel free to get in touch. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you next time.